We're trying to improve the way healthcare is delivered. And the Center for Connected Health was founded on the idea that maybe we don't always have to have a doctor and a patient in the same physical location to get health care done. I'm an attending physician on a heart failure team, and the team is the most important aspect of that. I could never do this alone, just myself and a patient. It requires case managers, nurses, patients, patients' families, dietitians, pharmacists, many, many people on the team. So I'm kind of the orchestrator of the team. And what we do is we take care of the patient in the hospital and in the clinic, we teach them, and then they go home. But think about going home with a diagnosis of heart failure and having that many people pay attention to you in the hospital. And then at home, you're wondering, wow, how do I make this all happen smoothly at home? So telemonitoring is that bridge to home. What we do is we monitor your vital signs, your blood pressure, your weight, your pulse, your oxygen at home, post-discharge. So you know that you're okay, you're doing well today, you should follow your medication activity, weight, diet, symptoms, and you're still partnered with us. When someone's weight goes up, a nurse gets on the phone right away with them and tries to solve that problem before they wind up getting so short of breath that they go into the emergency room of the hospital. Uh, when someone doesn't upload their vital signs, we're on the phone with them. Are you okay? Is something wrong? We, didn't, we noticed you didn't upload. And that trains the patients that they're in charge to, that they have a role to play in this. So through those phenomena of self-care and just-in-time care, we're able to show that we can lower the heart failure admission rate, and even the admission rate for all their conditions by 50%, which is really the win we're looking for, keeping people healthier in their own home. What patients have told me when they come to the office is when they check their vital signs in the morning, their weight, their oxygen, they take their medications, they feel secure that they're on target with all their goals, and they actually feel empowered to go out and live that day to their fullest. So they know vital signs are hard numbers. They know they're in their okay zone. They know they're fine, they're safe to go out and have a fabulous day. Not knowing something is scary. When you know your vital signs, you know your medications, you know your disease management, that empowers you to have just a great day and live your life to its fullest. One of the nicest things about the work that our center does is the patient satisfaction that we see. And uh, people, some in the beginning stages, early stages of our implementations, worried, particularly doctors and nurses, worried that we were somehow using technology to really to drive a wedge between them and their relationship with their patient. You can see that would be a natural worry. And what we found actually is patients are so comforted by the connectivity that's constant that they're quite willing to trade off an occasional visit to the office that may or may not be needed for this constant care and in just-in-time care and the connectivity. And it's a platform to enable us to help thousands of patients live better at home. And we can then be leading edge in what should be happening all over the United States. We're really one of the only centers of our type in the world, certainly in this country. And it's because we're doing so much that is, at first blush, contradictory to the way healthcare is practiced. When you think about it, it all makes sense. And for an organization like Partners to support that is very special. It's been a very special place for us to incubate our ideas and really create a one-of-a-kind uh, organization that is leading the way in reshaping how healthcare is practiced for the future.